This is a CBC Podcast. Have you heard? Listening to CBC Radio Online is now better than ever. Check out our new live streams from across the country at cbc.ca slash listen. Ugh, these blood pressure pills make me puke. I wish I could ask my doctor. It was a rash. She must have asked me 40 questions about it. He'd call me if my biopsy showed cancer. Wouldn't he? Hundreds of millions of people the world over are tweeting and Facebooking, MySpacing, and linking in. No surprise, then, that some are patients who want an instant connection, and perhaps instant intimacy, with someone like me. Healers? Not quite. You should have seen my last patient. I thought she was going to break the examining table. Why does my doctor even have a phone? It's like always busy. When I got to the ER, he had a screwdriver jammed into the side of his head. Honest. Check out the photo. Spent 10 minutes holding a sobbing resident in my arms in the locker room. She just separated from her husband of 15 years. I'm thinking of asking my doctor to be friends. Do you think he'd be weirded out? Cancer girl. Wants to be friends on Facebook. Confirm? <sighs> There's something about social networking that's making health professionals sign up. To share our experiences with each other. That's a given. But also to bridge the doctor-patient divide. And risk serious consequences in the process. I'm Dr. Brian Goldman. Welcome to the podcast of White Coat Black Art on CBC Radio 1 and Sirius Satellite 137. This week, healthcare meets social networking, a checkup on the benefits and the pitfalls. We meet a man who is helping to make the world-famous Mayo Clinic equally renowned for using social networking to reach out to patients while staying within ethical boundaries. Jump in with both feet? Not a chance, says a veteran GP who warns young colleagues never to friend patients on Facebook. But first, an MD who is bucking that advice with some impressive results. <laughs> 